Next I'm going to take my copter out for its maiden flight, uh, but there's a few things that I want to you know, capture or check during that, that first flight. Uh, one of them is the uh, amount of vibration, so I'm going to go into the advanced parameters list and enable the IMU uh, logging. So this, this used to be called RAW on uh, 2.91, but it's uh, become uh, IMU now. 3.0 and higher. So I look through the advanced parameters list for the log bit mask. Here it is here. And it's uh, going to set it to default plus IMU and write parameters. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the channel 6 tuning uh, to be the roll pitch P. So here's our channel 6. And I now look down here for the channel 6 rate KP. And that is currently between 0 0.15. Sorry, that's currently 0 0.15. So I'm going to make it maximum of 0 0.15. I'm pretty sure it's, it's usually lower, not higher. Uh, and I'm going to make the minimum about 0 0.08. I'm going to write that. And now I'm going to refresh my parameters and I put the uh, channel 6 tuning knob all the way to the left so it should be I should see the rate roll P and rate pitch P move down to 0 0.08 and they do and now I'll just switch it to the highest position refresh parameters okay and there it is 0 0.15 great now I will take it for its first flight let me raise the throttle here. There it is, and it's up. And for the accelerometer data, I just want a stable hover in stabilized mode. It's fine. Now, next thing I'm doing is I'm now I'm going to try and tune the rolling pitch. It feels a little soft. It's hard to tell, but it's just not really precise, so I'm going to increase it a bit. It's still wobbly. I'm going, to, I'm going to crank it right up to the default. That's getting a little better. I'm going to crank it right up. That's 0.15 now. Yeah, see that's... I like that better. Next thing, I'm, I, I think it's going to be fine, so I'm actually going to try loiter now. Let's we'll see if that's okay. Getting ready to switch it back into stabilized mode, something weird happens. There it is, that's loiter. Bring it down a bit. Basically, loiter uses alt hold, so I can be pretty sure that if loiter is working, alt hold is working. Seems pretty fine. The loiter position to the left and to the right. It's all looks pretty okay to me. Okay, back in the stabilized mode. The land, look at that. So long video. So turn on my receiver now. Let's refresh params. I will see what the very last value was that that I had. and it was 0 0.15. So that's actually the default, so I, I don't need to change it. If I did need to change it, what I would do is I would just come in here and I would say, for example, I need to make this a little bit different. So for example, 151, do that. Uh, also set this back to none, and then press write parameters. There, and now that's, that's saved. Um, we could check how well the roll and pitch tracks. So this is the roll in, which is the pilot roll, and here's the actual roll. We can look at these and see how well it's tracking. So this is this is pretty normal. You can see this is the, the roll in is here, and then the actual roll is you know just slightly after it. That's because there's of course a little bit of delay between when I ask for it to roll and when it actually rolls. 
you know, the peaks are about the same height. Looks like it's tracking pretty well. So that, that indicates that roll is fairly well tuned. Do the same thing for pitch. Although during the flight, I mostly did um, rolls. I didn't do much pitching. But you know, for this too, looks like it's tracking fairly well. So here you go. Yeah, look, it's, it looks like it's tracking pretty well. So nothing really to worry about there. I recorded the IMU data. So I want to have a look at it now and make sure that it's reasonable. So I've picked the right COM port. I've obviously connected my EPM2 to my computer. I'm going to go into the terminal window and click, click log download. Wait for a moment. There we are. So there's the one log. Download that. The IMU data is dumped out of a 50 hertz uh, to the data flash log, so it's quite a lot of data. Okay. Just creating a KML file. We're done. Okay, great. So now we can browse. And here it is here. Creating my APM planner logs directory. Open that up. And then I can come down here and find the IMU message. And it's the Acceler X, ACC X, Y, and Z that I want to look at. So graph, graph, graph. Okay, and so especially this first part of the flight was where I was in stabilized mode. Okay, and these numbers are pretty good actually. So you, you want to make sure that your accelerometer data, uh, you know, during a stable flight stays, uh, it goes no, well, sticks between, for the z-axis anyway, sticks between minus 5 and minus 15, so I'm actually very, very low. Uh, and then for the X and Y axes, we want it to stay some, somewhere, I think, well, between 5 and minus 5 for certain. I think it's actually a little bit more strict than that. probably needs to be minus 3, minus 3 to 3. Uh, so these, these numbers look, look totally great, actually. Configuration, advanced params, then look for the log bit. Unfortunately, they're not in alphabetical order. There it is there. Instead of default plus IMU, I'm going to set it back to default and press right parameters. There we are. I'm going to open up my maiden flights uh, data flash log, which I already downloaded. Then going to go down a bit to the middle, look for a CTON message, and the first column is throttle in. So this will tell me what throttle I was inputting to uh, keep the, the copter, you know, doing a stable hover. So here it is here, and it looks like, you know, especially at this first bit of the log, yeah, 5, 520, 530. So that's close enough to 500 that I don't need to do anything. But uh, say, for example, I had a very high-powered quad and it was hovering at say like 350, say this line was way down here at 350. Uh, then what I would do is I would close this, I would go to the configuration screen, I would hit connect, I would then go into advanced parameters, and for me I like the advanced parameter list because everything is right here, and I would go down and look for THR underscore MID. Throttle mid right here. So it's 500. So if, if I found that in fact, you know, my copter only needed 350 to hover, then I would type 350 in there and I'd hit right parameters. Um, as it is, you know, my copter hovers at 520, so I'm just going to leave it at, at 500.